start anytime because they'll edit it, right? I already did. Oh, crap, you did? <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, everybody. This is Rob from Lexington Podiatry. And what a year 2020 has been. It's been quite a ride. Speaking of rides, this weekend is the Kentucky Derby. However, it is a little, it's four months late, but, but hey, we're having the Kentucky Derby. Uh, in light of that, um, the traditional Kentucky drink is the mint julep. I would ever say that it's probably not the favorite bourbon drink of any bourbon drinker. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make it tasty uh, and also a little bit uh, healthier than it normally would be. So it's basically uh, three ingredients, mint, bourbon, sugar. So those things don't really go well together all the time. Um, and you can use sugar. This is what traditionally you use is like some kind of demerara sugar cane, like little uh, cube and you pound them. I'll show you a second. But I'm gonna be healthy and I'm gonna use stevia in the raw, the calories, uh, but don't skip on the flavor. Um, so what I do first is I drop the stevia into my, oh no, I don't have one ingredient, but I'm gonna get it in a second. So drop it in here. And the other ingredient, fresh mint, or fresh mint, or mint that you freshly bought from uh, the grocery store. Uh, pick all of these. It's pretty easy to grow in Kentucky though. Oh, uh, it grows everywhere in Kentucky. But, so in general, with, with uh, mint julep, the official uh, bourbon of the mint julep, or sorry, the Kentucky Derby, is, um, is Woodford Reserve. It's a beautiful, delicious, nutritious bourbon. But I like to be a little bit, you know, play to the little guys, ones that aren't so well known. So I'm going to go with Basil Hayden, which is my favorite because it has a uh, handsome little gold belt in the middle of it. Not really, it's actually really delicious and nutritious. So I gotta finish doing these real quick. Magically, I have all of the mint here <laughs> with the sugar. So what I'm gonna do is muddle. This is the muddle. This is the thing I forgot to bring out earlier. So muddling is you're just trying to like express all of the uh, oils in the mint. Just gotta loosen it up. And bit. it smells delicious. Yeah, oh, it definitely does. And I am going to go with my bourbon. Two ounces. How much is a bottle of basil Hayden? I think in Kentucky it's 28 to 30 bucks. Uh, somewhere in those range, maybe as high as 35 if you're like going somewhere with, it's not very, uh, you know, convenient. What's the difference between that and Woodford in price? I'm just curious. Uh, Woodford is about 30 to 35. Woodford has got just a better, you know, just got a better marketing presence. I mean, Basil's been around for, I don't know, probably 80 years or more. So it's been around, but, and they're both made probably close, close enough to one another. I'm going to, there's a little bit of water in this too. I'm gonna to pour in because it dilutes it a little bit. Because I mean, come on. I mean, oh, so how many ounces did you put in? Two ounces. Two ounces of bourbon, and then I'm your stevia put, packet. My stevia packet. I'm gonna put the rest of the ice in our derby cup glass, and then I get to be all fancy for a minute. Which, as you said, is your favorite sound in the world. No, uh, magic. <laughs> now I've got to get because it, it's there we go <laughs> and I always give it pretty good now this is a drink actually um, you can do one of two ways um, you can completely like sift it, all of the mint out or you can pour it directly in I like pouring it directly in because I like to feel like I'm going to have a drink that's making me eat a meal full of spinach which is all gets cut in your teeth and everything, so. Here. Is that the healthy part of the drink? Is oh. the, the mint leaves? <laughs> right. Well, I thought it was, it was an stevia. additional healthy part. Oh, it's an addition. So, Canada Dry Club Soda, my favorite because it has the most carbonation of any club sodas you can get. If you get some that just say like sparkling water, they don't really, see? They don't really have a lot of uh, carbonation. This is super, What's the difference between club soda and tonic? Tonic actually has quinine in it. Quinine is a, a, a root, um, and it actually, uh, and whatever they do with the tonic water, I know they make it, it's got calories in it. 
Typically, I wouldn't stir this very much. I'm not going to. I'm just going to give it a couple of swirls because I don't want to stir out all of the carbonation. And when I'm done stirring, this couple of light stirs, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to put a little more club soda in it just because I want the effervescence at the end. That was pretty easy. And I left a little bit of a uh, garnish so that now I have some fruit to my drink. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I hope that everybody this weekend gets to enjoy either a mint julep or their other favorite cocktail that they would have. <laughs> so, um, drop a comment below. Let us know what your favorite okay. cocktail is for the Derby or just a cocktail anytime. Right. Future cocktail. Right. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching our video. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to learn how to make. I'm, I'm at least moderate. I'm a, I'm a mediocre bartender. So, um, if you have any ideas, let me know and I'll talk to you soon or I'll do something weird.